So I saw this post going around on threads where this author is saying that she's looking for a very specific name for this color right here. And she's like asking, is this dark auburn, dark copper? And a whole lot of people in the comments are, you know, helping her find like that very specific Pantone, you know, name of the color. And that's great. There's a lot of kinds of writing that call for that. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with saying, you know, the person had auburn hair. Uh, there is just another way of doing it if you are interested. It's actually kind of bad with like specific color names, but I am pretty good with evocative imagery because I've, I've written poetry for a really long time. So if I were describing this color, I might say that her hair was the color of chocolate when it melts and mixes with strawberries as though someone had figured out a way to slow roast sunshine. Her hair was sumac, paprika, cayenne, a spice that bites and a spice that lingers like the woman herself. Her hair fell around her like late autumn after the golds and greens have given way and the only color around is a red that threatens winter but lingers long enough to turn the world into an unpolished gem glittering in the last light of the year. I describe things to people because I when I write poetry that's how I write like I I, I make these like little points of connection and kind of let the reader fill in the, the fill in the blank like I lean into that simile that metaphor and I let the reader do the work. Both ways of writing are perfectly valid and oftentimes are m more specifically called for. Sometimes you just need to say that the cup was blue. Sometimes you just need to say that this is auburn hair. Like that is p fully fine and valid. There's just a couple of different ways of doing that. And this is just the way that I tend to do it. Hope this helps. Thank you. Goodbye.